Arizona Nightfall, The Calm Before the Storm Written by Giorgio Tsoukalos It was a crisp November evening in 1975. The Arizona sky blazed with the hues of sunset. Deep within the Apache Sitgreaves National Forest, a logging crew prepared to head home after a long day's work. The air was still, heavy with the scent of pine needles and damp earth. Led by their foreman, Mike Rogers, the six men piled into their truck. Little did they know that this seemingly ordinary night was about to take a turn into the extraordinary. They had been on the road for a short while when something caught their attention. A bright, pulsating light appeared through the trees. It seemed to hover just above the ground, casting eerie shadows that danced in the growing darkness. Curiosity? and apprehension mingled in their minds as they watched the mysterious light. It was an unusual sight, even for these seasoned outdoorsmen. The light beckoned them closer. The Luminous Enigma, a strange encounter in the woods. The men in the truck debated what to do. The light was so strange, so out of place. Travis Walton, a young logger known for his adventurous spirit, urged the others to investigate. He wanted to know what they were dealing with. Was it a fire, a downed aircraft, or something else entirely? Despite their initial hesitation, the rest of the crew agreed. They cautiously drove towards the light, a mix of excitement and unease gripping their hearts. As they drew closer, the light grew larger and more intense. It seemed to pulsate with an otherworldly energy. The air crackled with an unseen force. They stopped the truck a short distance away, their headlights illuminating the strange spectacle. Before them hovered a large metallic disc. It shimmered in the darkness, its smooth, featureless surface reflecting the light it emitted. The men were stunned into silence. This was no ordinary light. This was something beyond their wildest imaginations. A daring approach, drawn to the unknown. The sight of the disc filled the men with a mixture of awe and terror. They had never seen anything like it. Travis, ever the daredevil, felt an irresistible pull towards the object. He wanted a closer look, a chance to touch the unknown. Ignoring the pleas of his companions, Travis stepped out of the truck and slowly approached the hovering craft. His footsteps seemed unnaturally loud in the sudden silence. Travis, no! Get back here! Mike shouted, his voice laced with fear, but it was too late. Travis was already halfway to the disc, his eyes fixed on its pulsating glow. As he drew closer, a beam of intense light shot out from the bottom of the craft. It engulfed Travis in a blinding flash. He cried out and then vanished. One minute he was there, the next he was gone. Vanished. Five days lost in the void. The remaining men watched in horror as Travis disappeared. The beam of light retreated back into the craft as quickly as it had appeared. The disc began to hum and vibrate, the air around it shimmering with renewed intensity. Then, with a sudden burst of speed, it shot upwards and vanished into the night sky. The men were left standing there, speechless and terrified, in the middle of the forest. Travis was gone. For five long days and nights, Travis Walton was gone. His crewmates returned to town, shaken and bewildered by what they had witnessed. They reported the incident to the authorities, their story met with skepticism and disbelief. The police suspected foul play that the men were covering something up, but the loggers stuck to their story. They had seen a UFO, they had seen Travis abducted, and they wanted him back. Inside the craft, Travis regained consciousness in a state of disorientation. He was lying on a cold, hard surface, his body aching as if he had been thrown around. He opened his eyes, blinking against the harsh glare of unfamiliar lights. He was in a small enclosed space, the air thick and heavy. Panic welled up inside him as he realised he was trapped. Where was he? What had happened to him? He tried to sit up, but a searing pain shot through his head, forcing him back down. He looked around the room, his heart pounding in his chest. The walls were smooth and metallic, devoid of any windows or discernible features. Strange symbols and diagrams glowed faintly on the surfaces, their meaning unknown to him. He felt a wave of nausea wash over him. He was trapped in a nightmare. 
As Travis lay there, struggling to comprehend his situation, a panel slid open in the wall. Three figures entered the room, their movements fluid and silent. Travis stared at them in disbelief. They were humanoid in shape, but their features were unlike anything he had ever seen before. Their skin was smooth and grey, their heads large and bald, their eyes were large and black, devoid of pupils, and they seemed to stare right through him. Travis tried to speak, but no words came out. He was paralysed with fear, unable to move or scream. The beings communicated with each other through a series of chirps and whistles, their voices high-pitched and strangely melodic. They moved closer to Travis, their large black eyes studying him with an unnerving intensity. He felt a cold, tingling sensation as one of them reached out and touched his forehead. Then everything went black. A perilous journey lost in a labyrinth of stars. Travis found himself drifting in and out of consciousness. He had vivid, fragmented memories of strange medical examinations, of being prodded and probed by the alien beings. He saw images of swirling galaxies, of stars being born and dying, of planets he had never seen before. He felt as if he was on a journey through the cosmos, his mind stretched to its limits. At times he felt a sense of wonder and awe at the sights he was witnessing. At other times he was overwhelmed by terror and despair. He longed for the familiar comfort of Earth, for the presence of his friends and family. He wanted to go home, but he had no idea how. He was lost in a labyrinth of stars, a captive of beings beyond his comprehension. Return to Earth, a changed man in a skeptical world. Five days after his disappearance, Travis reappeared as suddenly as he had vanished. He was found lying in the middle of a road, miles from where he had last been seen. He was disoriented, dehydrated, and deeply traumatized. His story, when he finally managed to tell it, was met with a mixture of skepticism and disbelief. Many dismissed it as a hoax, a publicity stunt, or a case of mental breakdown. But Travis remained adamant. He had been abducted by aliens. He had seen things that defied explanation. He bore the physical and emotional scars of his experience. He knew the truth even if no one else believed him. He was a changed man, forever marked by his encounter with the unknown. Truth or fabrication? The polygraph and public scrutiny. In an attempt to prove his story, Travis agreed to undergo a polygraph test administered by a respected examiner. The results were conclusive. Travis was telling the truth. He believed with every fiber of his being that he had been abducted by aliens. But the polygraph results did little to quell the controversy surrounding his case. Skeptics continued to question his story, offering alternative explanations for his disappearance and the strange events that surrounded it. The media had a field day with Travis's story, turning him into a reluctant celebrity. He was interviewed on countless talk shows, his story dissected and analysed by experts and amateurs alike. The world was captivated by the mystery of Travis Walton, but the truth, as always, remained elusive. The Walton Legacy, an enduring enigma. The story of Travis Walton's alien abduction remains one of the most well-known and controversial UFO cases of all time. It has been the subject of numerous books, documentaries, and even a Hollywood movie. But despite decades of scrutiny, the truth of what happened that night in the Arizona desert remains a mystery. Did Travis Walton really encounter an alien spacecraft? Was he abducted and subjected to medical experiments? Or was it all an elaborate hoax, a figment of his imagination? The answer, like so many things in the realm of ufology, remains elusive. The Walton case serves as a reminder that there are still mysteries in this world that science cannot easily explain. It is a story that continues to fascinate and intrigue us, challenging our perceptions of reality and our place in the cosmos.